Good evening, everyone. And thank you so much for all the responses and subscribes and likes and clicks and all that. Um, okay, so for the last week, I've not done any kind of videos because I've been on vacation. And while I was away, you guys, oh my gosh, I had like... 70 subscribers and 100 likes and a whole bunch of comments and I couldn't respond. Well, I responded to a couple of you, but I didn't like go into details of the stuff that I was going to do. Anyhow, while I was out there, um, I got to hypnotize somebody. I got to play some Minecraft with the kids. Um, I even had uh, my daughter Hope and Serenity. They record a video, so I'm going to be posting that out there. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for all the like support and response to my videos. You guys are awesome um i i don't know what to say like uh i will continue to do the best i can to uh bring you auto it and hypnosis and minecraft and all that good stuff um for now uh let's see if i can't uh read off some comments and some responses and i'll see what i can do for you guys by the way my hair is totally not done so um it's the weekend and uh i've got a little bit of time so um I'm, I'm not going to get myself all fancies. I'm not shaved. So, <laughs> 242 subscribers. You guys are awesome. <laughs> um, by the way, if there's anybody out there that wants to or likes to, um, I want to change my my uh, banner up here at the top. So, if you, brilliant ideas. Uh, I'm really good at drawing anime, but I'm not really good at turning it into digital anime. So, yeah. Just throw that out there. If you guys want, uh, comment below. Okay, um, the recent one, most recent one, was 18 hours ago. Could you please help me out? I was wondering if you could make a hack for AS, ASDA Global, an MMOR multi, yeah, online. Uh, they came out with Game Guard, so it's easy to break. From Soha Rabe. Re re rebuy, rebuy, um, 18 hours ago. I did reply to him. I said, um, I can, ooh going to go ahead and like your reply. And I'm going to like my own. Because if you don't like yourself, you can't really succeed. And I missed a couple here. Um, okay, anyhow. Uh, I can see what I can do. Uh, lots of requests to respond to. Um, and that's with all your guys' responses to this particular video. So, um, I've got the client downloaded. I have not installed yet. I will install it real quick and see if I can't get this going. Yeah. Find something to exploit. Oh, that sounded bad. Uh, not exploit. Uh, find something to bot. And I am really washed out right now. I mean, look how how shiny I am. Ugh. Okay, so apparently there's a downloader for it, and it's 1.5 gigabytes big. Uh, yeah. Pausing video. Okay, it's it's going now. <laughs> it was this took forever. So. Ah. <clears throat> By the way, um, if you have not seen the first videos about how to create bots with Autoit, this is like way into it. So um, you might go check out the first videos. I will walk through from basic to all the way like what we're actually doing with it. But uh, yeah, just hang tight, hang tight, promise. It's awesome. So bored waiting for it to go. <sighs> Hurry up. Quick note to my fellow YouTube content creators out there. Notice how I'm not using a notepad and I'm I'm actually showing my face on screen. Please make more videos like this one. Darn thing is still installing. Taking forever. Okay, fine. While that thing's still loading, um, what you're going to need to do is like to do your auto -it programs. You got to go out to the website www.auto it auto it.com. Here, let me pull it up. Auto it. Come out here to auto it. Go and download the editor. Grab this full version right here. This one, I think. Whatever version's on the side of the particular time that you're looking at it, because it's going to be different by the time I. Anyhow, go download auto it. You're going to need it. And what you're going to fire up is this thing called script it. And, okay, that's for my Skyrim mover. We're going to close that. So to get to script it, start script it editor. Okay, you're going to need your editor. And go to 
window this auto information window information oh, this little thing right here this is what you're going to use to grab all the information from the window that you're uh, manipulating and this is the window that you're going to be using to actually create your script so all right let's finish the install okay looks like it's finally finished and uh, I pulled up both my notepads so my face is all nice and bright no we're not going to save the snippet um, let's get into it game start uh, still downloading something <sighs> let's actually get in the game okay it started and okay okay didn't want you guys seeing my uh, username login and stuff like that so oh man all right hold on. so i am playing in windowed mode um gonna keep it at the same spot every single time uh, okay character creation okay let's actually get into it that's really loud okay character creation i'm going to be code uh name up to 18 characters i am a male thank you or i could be female I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's check out the hair. Hair, 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 hair. Kind of limited on hair. Uh, it's close enough. No, what looks like my hair? My hair right now kind of looks like that. Kind of crazy. So, uh, let's, let's, let's go with that. Uh, color is going to be... Let's do a brown. Dark brown. Even though my hair is slightly blondish. Okay. Can we, like, get rid of the music or something? Uh, Alright, my face. That doesn't look like my face. Uh, there we go. That's my face. Yeah, we'll go with that. Blue eyes, always. Uh, class preview. Oh, this is like a knight! I don't know what that is. Attack mage? Okay. These are one-handed sword, warrior, crossbow, archer, attack mage, spear mage, warrior, bow archer, healing mage, <laughs> two-handed sword warrior, clear, and support mage. Well, I like being a healer, so we'll go with healer. Create him. Yes. Please select Constellation? What? Constellation? I don't see a constellation. Constellation. Ah, there we go. Aries, Taurus, Gemini. Oh, Sagittarius. There we go. Because I was born in December. Create. Character name already exists. What? Somebody's already named Code Primate? Code Primate. What? The real Code Primate. Code Prime 8. Alright, the real Code Prime 8. Somebody took my name. There we go. Only Alpha and Omega. Dang it. Dang it. No underscore. The real code primate. Create him. Correct. Invalid character name. What? Real life code primate. Great. Invalid character name. Please select the character name up to 18 characters and other letters and numbers. Only letters and numbers. Please note that some of the words phrases may be prohibited. Code prime. Only alphanumerical characters without spaces. Alright. Code Prime 8. How about that? How about that? Now it's character name. Code Prime. Great. Invalid character name. What? Are you kidding me? Um. Larock. I don't know why that worked. Um, actually, I got the word. Hold on a second. Turn down. Here. 
loud. All right. So I actually got the name Laric from the word Corel because I used to have a version of Linux by Corel that I actually bought from the store. That was back in 2001. Okay, cool. So yeah, let's select Laric, dude, and go. Loading, loading, loading. I guess I can get rid of my sound there. Um, attendance check. And it's check reward. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. Welcome to the ASDA Empire. Would you like to learn some basic controls? Yes, please. Try moving around. Click anywhere on the ground to move around. Awesome. To change the view, hold the left and move around. Okay, cool. You can also use... I can use ASDA. You're learning curriculum. Learn how to zoom. Scroll the mouse wheel in and out. Okay, cool. You have now learned the basic movements controller. Would you like to learn more? No, I'm good. Okay, we're good. Oh, this is going to be like a 3D worldy thingy. Oh, this is going to suck. Okay. So, flight. I could, I guess, get some things or something like that. Is it like a mini map? Ah, oh, there is a mini map. Can I click on the mini? Oh, goodness. Okay, so see this little mini map thingy up here in the corner? That's going to be really good for later on when we need to do exact clicks to get somewhere. So like, we could click like that. Uh, let's see, can we center ourselves? Is there a way to center? Open the mini map, overlay, overlay map? Overlay map, oh nice. Uh, I guess that's kind of nice. Okay, we're just kind of wandering around here like an idiot. Um, hey, hey, there's somebody. Hey, come back here. Hi there. Hi there, little fella. I'm new. Noob. Oh. Well, you couldn't possibly be a noob because you're part of the Dragon's Guild. All right, well, fine. Hello out there, YouTubers. So yes, if you happen to get caught while I was uh, doing this one, awesome, awesome. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing. Uh, instructions, instructor. You're a new face. What's your name, Larrick? Welcome to the of but something's boring. Please go out to the north and get rid of five young wolves. Done. Okay. So now where? Uh, north. North? Okay. It says we need to go ta attack uh, wolves. Ooh, look at this. I got F1 to dig. You must equip a shovel first. I can do fishing. That's not working. F3, ammonics. A smiley face. Crappy face. Can I actually see his face? Yay! Angry. Let's do angry face. Do angry. Grrr. Let's do cry face. Cry face. No, oh, sad. Okay, cool. Okay, so this isn't too bad. It's kind of cute. Uh, we need to find young wolves. Ooh, 13 gold. Is there a pickup command? Can I pick up? Two. Uh, I can press two. Ah, ooh, yes I can. Oh, look at that. We can use tab to cycle in between. So let's just hit the number two. Let's hit the number two. Okay. Ah, uh, hi. Hi. Display character name that should be leveled as host next. 
The display of the buffs, debuffs. Uh, where's that display? Okay, cool. Alright, so this little thing up here is my character, and then this right here is my buffs and debuffs, and then these things right here are the mini-maps and the quest trackers. And... wait, no, go back to previous. Um, mini-map uh, trackers. Okay. 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 Cool. Close. So, these are young parasols. Parasols. Nope, we need to find the wolves. Where are the young wolves? Young wolf. There's a young wolf. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try to do this by um, by keyboard only. If I hit tab, it's selected young wolf. Alright. Alright, so the tab button will select a young wolf. I'm going to hit 1 to attack it. Cool. So that works, and I'm going to press 2 to pick that up, hit tab, 1, perfect, hit 2 to pick it up, 2 to pick it up, tab, 1, okay, so, because it uses keyboard commands, I may be able to do this actually really quickly, so, first things first, Let's grab our window info. Boop, 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 boop. I'm just going to drag that little target over to the ASDA Global right here at the top. It's going to tell me the title name, which is ASDA Global All with no space. Um, let's look back over here. What did this have? This is, uh, two. Can I just pick this up? Two, 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 two. Look like there were three things. You have obtained word booster. Okay, I don't know what that is. So let's do this. Um, okay, hotkey set. We're going to use the F. Oh, you guys can't see that. There we go. We're going to use the F1 key. And this is going to trigger our My Exit. There we go. And while 1, give our infinite loop, W end, and then function my exit and exit this way we know it's ending in funk by the way I did have a request to create a GUI um, I will try and put together a GUI of some kind uh, in another video alright we're going to active uh, win activate and I can paste that in because I copied it. ASD Global. Hold on. You guys can't see that, can you? There we go. Uh, while one, we're going to send key. Nope. We're going to send the tab key. And then we are going to sleep for just a moment. 250. Send the one key, which is our attack key. We're going to sleep for how long did that take? About five seconds. So I'm going to throw out 5,000. And then we're going to send the, was it two key? And we'll do that three times. And then sleep for just a second, two or a fourth of a second. Wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. Okay, so here we go. Oh, got to save it. Uh, ASDA underscore global. Glo global. There we go. Okay. So, F8, so I can see my commands. F5, here we go. He didn't select anybody. He didn't select anybody. Alright, F1. Uh-oh. You must equip a shovel first. Oh, F1 is used as an actual key. What about escape? 
Okay, escape is not. So, control, pause, break. We're going to end our program. And we're going to use... Oops. E-S-C. -E -E ah. What is going on there? E-S-C. There we go. Save that. F5. It's not sending. Okay. Okay. Escape. Why is it... Oh. Okay. So, when you start up the game, it requires uh, administrative rights. So... We have to run script it with administrative rights. To do this, close it, start, script it editor, right click, run as administrator. Are you sure you want to allow this program to make changes to your computer? Yes, I'm sure. All right, so same program as before. Save that, F5, run it, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Killed him. Cool. And he picked up the gold. Um, but he's not attacking anybody else. Alright, but he is actually picking up the other things, so... And it looks like I'm gaining health actually really quickly. Alright, so let's escape. Break that. We're gonna put a little bit of a sleep in between here on our pickup. Just so we're picking up a little bit faster, we're going to give it a 7 second delay in between those. And on that last pickup, we're actually going to wait a full second before attacking something else. So, here we go. Attacks Young Wolf. Killed it. Cool. Attacks Young Wolf. Critical uh, package has been received. Okay, I don't know what that is. Okay, so we have a running hunter bot of young wolves. Oh, I leveled up. Very cool. Took a little bit for him to get over there, but that's okay. Okay. So there you have it, a very simple um, hunter bot right off the bat. Uh, game was actually really easy to automate. Um, we're not going to do any kind of like, actually, yes, let's go ahead and do, because that purple I should be able to determine. Can we, okay, hit escape, no, not you, all right, so let's just take a snippet of this real quick. This little guy right here is what we're going to be uh, looking for. What happens when I click on him? There, let's go pick this stuff up. Pick, 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 pick. Okay. If I click on him, and then I click on him again. Okay, if you double click, it will attack. So. Let's see if we can't get a... Okay, here's the first part, right there. There you go. Got it? You can pause the video here if you need to. Cool. I am actually going to take this one step further. And this little section right here, where we press 2, 
we're going to create into a function called pick up stuff. And I'm going to sleep for 250 seconds, press the number two, sleep for 250 seconds, press the number two. And we're going to put this all into a loop for x equals one to um, count. And tab, tab, next, and funk. So basically what this is going to do, it's going to press my uh, two button however many times. Pick up stuff. We're going to say five, minimum of five. Okay. For the wolf, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to try and get my mouse to search on that screen and click on it. So instead of tab and one, we're going to do uh, da, 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 pixel search equals. Now, uh, we're going to call it chords. Chords equals pixel search. we got to give it um, the rectangle here. Um, the best way to do this is we're going to move this window up to the top left-hand corner. And then that's, that's where it will stick. So, uh, on win activate, we're going to do win move. The title is going to be ASDA global. Text, I'm not worried about. Uh, exposition is going to be zero, zero. So, when I run this, it'll pop up there. Uh, I'm going to comment this out. Just so it'll run. Boink, boop, there we go. So, that'll move your window up there to the top. My bottom coordinate is going to be right down here, bottom left-hand side. Oh, wait, there might be a purple. Do you see this? Okay, right here, there's some purple there, and the purple is what I'm going to be looking for. So we're going to say the coordinates of here to down to, like, here. So that's, that's going to be our hunt area. Uh, let's let's go right here to down here. Okay. Now I want you to imagine a rectangle. Which that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be making an, an imaginary rectangle at these coordinates. So the top left hand side, um, if you click on this mouse part right here, I've dragged it, put it where I wanted it. It's going to be at 360. Oops. 360. 110, that's the XY point at the top left hand side. And my next one's going to be down here at the bottom right, just outside the map and just outside anything on the inside here. And that's going to be at 1110 and 642. Uh, I forgot what I need in here. Let's go here. Boop. Top, uh, left, top, right, bottom and the color that we're looking for in a shade variant. And the color I'm going to be looking for, if we grab our snip, uh, is going to be like this purplish color right here. It seems to be abundant. 63, 58, 78. 0x, 63, 5, 8, 7, 8 comma, shade variant, we're going to give it five, five shade variant. So this is going to be the coordinates. All right, if, if, hmm, if, at error, oh, we got to put a not in there, not, if not at error, which means that we found something, then do all the stuff in here. Else, we're going to say uh, 
scan right. Search. Oh, we'll, we'll put a comment in here. Search. And if. There we go. So what we're going to be doing is we're searching for that pixel. If we find it, then double uh, mouse click left comma chords uh, chords zero and chords one. What this does is the pixel search is going to return the XY coordinates of where it found the pixel at. So we're going to double click on that. Comma two mouse clicks. And I think the last variable is speed. So it's which button you want. The X coordinate, the Y coordinate, the number of clicks and the speed. And our speed's going to be set to one. So super fast. All right, so let's try that. So right now it's just continuously searching, 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 searching. If we turn, oh. It's not finding the color. Oh, oh, there it found the wolfie. So, and it picked up the stuff. Very cool. So, it should find a variant. Oh, it found the variant right there. And it picked up the stuff. Found the next variant. And it picked up the stuff. Nice. Cool. All right, hit escape. So, if we don't find it, we want to scroll right. Um, so, if we're, okay. I don't know if there's any way to reset the views or not. We're just gonna look kind of downish angle so we can get all the stuff in the distance as well. If we look, right here at the left part of my name I'm going to right click and drag it all the way over to the left part of my name and that is about a 45 degree angle in a 3d world do you see that so those are the coordinates that we're going to use for our rotation search okay what this says is uh, I'm going to do a left click and drag to go left so my camera will turn so I can do the next search. This is this is what I use for a lot of the um, three-dimensional searches. So if we didn't find it, let's go ahead and um, right, let's see, mouse down. right okay mouse move wait is there a drag mouse drag all right we're going to do mouse move two and i'm going to find the left side of my name or left side of my bar which is right there oh my gosh Right there, okay? That's at 592.411. So we're gonna do mouse move, 592, comma, 411. By the way, I am not full screen, so whatever dimensions you're at, you'll have to match them to use this code. Uh, we're gonna move the mouse over there. We're going to do mouse down to the right, or uh, mouse down on right, and then move it to the left. So I'm going to find the other part of my name, or the other side of my name. And again, that's going to be about 45 degrees. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. 
That's a 693411. 693, comma, 411. There we go. And mouse up right. Okay. So let's go ahead and put a comment in here. Uh, move 45 degrees, or turn, or say turn 45 degrees degrees. There we go. And this one we're going to say hunt for pixels. And I'm going to give it a little bit more variance. So that 5 that we had up there earlier, I'm going to give it a 10. So it's a little bit more lenient. We're going to pick up stuff. We're going to give this a half second delay because it looked like it was going a little too fast. Save. Here we go. So as you can see, he turned, 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 found what he was looking for. He That happened to be in the search area. Search, search, search. Picked up, picked up, picked up. Very cool. So, yes, this kind of looks like a bot moving around right now. One thing that makes this different between, like, a, a client bot is I'm not sending exact commands to it. Um, we're changing angles, we're moving, we're looking, we're double-clicking on stuff. So, this technique uh, can be used in multiple different games in in hunter areas um, you do have to be careful about the colors because if you search for a color and um, it, that's on somebody's clothing or if that's on a really high animal or a high uh, bad guy or if it's part of the interface so like the two that I've got down there where you click on it it's got purple around it which could possibly set that off um, that right there, he missed a click, but if you watch, he'll go and click him again. We're clicking on the exact pixel, but it's not on the exact same spot of the monster each time. Oh, we missed him. There he goes. Kill it, and now we turn. Now we turn, and now we turn, and now we turn. He is finding it the furthest away to the clo uh, the closest away, so it's going to be running past anything further. Let's go ahead and reverse that. So we're going to be searching from bottom to top, bottom to top. Okay, hit escape to end our our thing. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up those things that we dropped. So, up here on the pixel search, we're going to just reverse these numbers and these numbers. So, just take this back portion and cut it. Forward portion, put it in. Make sure we still have four numbers, all the commas are in the right place. So now, this should look from bottom to top and find the closest one to us. Oh, see there? Uh-oh. So that would really mess up our bot because that guy happened to have purple on him. Alright, so let's... Whoa! There we go. Kind of adjust the angle a little bit. Oh, 
That's pretty cool. He missed the double click. Anyhow, okay. So that was a tutorial on how to do a pixel search and how to do um, keyboard presses for a hunter bot for ASDA Global. I hope this has been an enjoyable experience. If you like and subscribe, uh, also check out all my other videos. Thank you guys so much for all the responses. Uh, I hope I'm not boring. Um, if you have any suggestions or if you have any questions, comments, complaints, uh, please leave them in the comments below or shoot me a message. Uh, just search for Code Primate. Search for Heath Haskins. I'm all over the place. <laughs> Bye.